So we're gonna be going back to Texas for a couple of days. We just made it to the airport now on this gorgeous rainy evening. Um, the drive up here was kind of uh, long, wet, cold. I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but yeah, we're heading over to Texas. What's up guys? So we're in Houston. <laughs> um, fuck, actually I feel so fucking tight right now. My skin, like, my skin's been like, getting a break from like de being depleted for like the past like seven weeks and then i'm not gonna lie i did fucking binge the fuck out of like cookies and cannolis and mostly just sweet stuff like everything that like i was craving on prep i just saved in my freezer and then i just destroyed my freezer over the course of two days post show i'm up like i think i'm like i didn't weigh myself this morning but Last I checked, I'm up like 10 pounds. So I went from like 190 to like 200, maybe 201. So it might be 10 or 11 pounds at this point. Probably 203, I'm thinking I'm sitting right now. Um, but cracked down back on my diet. So I'm not going to rebound super, super hard from this point on. I still feel really, really full. Most of what's going on right now is probably just water retention, likely. Um, so I'm trying to milk out like this this body composition for a little while. I feel amazing though, so that's really what's important. And I got past the whole binging shit. Um, but finally, went grocery shopping. Well, Instacarted, because we don't have a car at the moment. Actually eating real food by this point. So diet's coming back together. Um, I don't have like these, yeah, you know, I kind of want a snack here and there, but no crazy urges. Um, sticking to the plan for the most part. Reverse dieting back up so I can get my metabolism working appropriately again because I've been in such a long deficit. Um, most importantly, I just feel really good right now. So probably gonna be training at Alpha Land later this afternoon. Gonna check it out there. It's not gonna be super crazy like it was for summer shredding. So we should be able to get a pretty decent fucking workout. It's actually pretty cold in Texas right now. I think it's, yeah, 51, kind of chilly, but uh, we got sweats, you know, long sleeves and shit. And I'm sure Alpha Land will be heated. Gym two should be, door should be closed. It'll be a good time, so. Oh, I'm still like getting like, so post show, I was, like I said, I was just eating a fuck ton of food and the bloat that I was suffering after that, it was, it was just thinking about it makes me want to throw up, honestly. Like it was, it was a continuous bloat for like two days, which inevitably led me to stop binging because I couldn't handle the bloat anymore. Um, but there's still like remnants of it. Every time I eat, I feel it. Um, maybe that's just more normal for like, you know, typically get a little bit bloated after you eat any meal. But when you're on prep, man, there is no bloat because your stomach is like never full ever. Um, so I'm like fighting that right now, but I think it feels pretty good. I was trying to flex my abs in the mirror and I, could, I couldn't get them to come out. But we're about to head over to Alpha Land a little bit. I'm just downing the rest of this pre. Trying to keep my water intake as high as possible because I found that helps keep the bloating at bay and also being dehydrated fucking sucks. Um, yeah, so I think we're training chest, shoulders, and triceps today. So it's gonna be a fucking juicy day. Like, this is gonna be a fun day. I need to burn through all the carbs I ate in the past four days today. So we're gonna make that happen and you guys are gonna get to see that. Oh, and one more thing. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to these videos. YouTube has not been pushing my content because I've been on this massive hiatus. So guys, I really appreciate you guys, you know, showing some love in the videos. All right, thanks. I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> and that's, there's no fucking way. 190. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I hope it's broken. <clears throat> I was 203 last I checked, but. Well, I mean, Dude, do you need for your anything? Yeah, two or three. I have everything. Do you have any BCAs by chance? Uh, I got. I put salt in this, and now it just feels like I'm drinking salt water. I got okay. glycerol. Uh, anything just to give us a little flavor. Energy. Honestly, I have everything. Glycerol. Oh yeah. Watermelon. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, they asked me to uh, get some cook wet, huh? They asked me to get some content. I, I, I do all the gorilla content in Houston. Okay. Like all the athletes out here. So. That's sick. So every time someone comes out, you're just kind Pretty of. Pretty much, yeah. They'll go. Uh, Lexus in town. Like, go. I'm like, okay, I got it. So if you're down, we'll, we'll take some. 
I'll borrow your shirt too if you want. Oh, fucking sick. I'm gonna get a fin of large though. Yeah, sure. 220? Yeah. 221. 230. 230. <laughs> <laughs> I feel a little skinny. Well, if anything, that's good. Good for hair, for it, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. We've been getting really late in South. But, yeah. What was your weight, I'd say? 190. 190? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like 135. Holy <laughs> fuck. That's nuts. We'd be like in the same fucking class. Were you men's physique? Men's physique, classic. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. That's fucking awesome. Shit. Good shit, dude. Yeah. It's fucking looking insane. Jeez. Thanks, bro. Wow. So ready to eat this, man. So we got a little pink Himalayan salt, throwing that on top. I got some sugar-free barbecue, and then I just grabbed, honestly, I'm like addicted to the mixture of sauces now with hot sauce, ketchup, mustard, and then like barbecue. <laughs> so just slapping this all on there and just housing this. So I got, what is it? A serving of sweet potatoes, double chicken, and then there's rice underneath down there. Um, working with what I, have right now. I'm supposed to have like 270 grams of rice, which ends up being about, I think it's like 80 grams of carbs roughly. I could be wrong on the math a bit, but I'm assuming this should be pretty close to that. Um, and this looks like about 180 grams of chicken, which is like five or six ounces. So we're working with what we got right now. I'm traveling. I don't have my food scale with me. It's, I'm not on prep. I'm just, you know, hitting the macros. So I'm going to dig in here. I'm really fucking hungry. Be making uh, some French toast. Typically, my morning breakfasts are um, like 40 grams worth of carbs and oats. So I saw, since we're in Texas, they have Texas toast. Uh, I've been trying to find this at my local grocery store. You don't just get it in Texas. I'm sure you guys find it in yours. Um, but it was like the last one on the shelf, and I'm like, I really want some thick-cut French toast. So. Um, grab that as well as I'm going to use egg whites, cinnamon, vanilla extract, and I believe that's everything. And a little bit of a sweetener, so I might use like, I don't know if we have like Sweet and Low or Splenda or something here. I'll figure it out. Um, worst case, I'll use a little sugar, but um, pretty much that's how you make like high protein French toast. Um, in my meal plan, I have about 320 grams of egg whites, so I'm just going to soak the living fuck out of these two piece, pieces of bread. And normally I could soak about 50 grams of egg whites into like a regular slice. So this should hold up to like 80 to 100 grams of egg white. And it literally 
it tastes delicious. So I'm gonna do that. Um, so the French toast is pretty much done. That's all good to go. I'm just finishing up with a couple three whole eggs and I'm using the rest of the French toast mix because I don't wanna go any, I don't wanna have anything go to waste. Um, but this is probably gonna be pretty fucking good, man. It's like high protein, thick cut French toast. So um, working with what I got, I might just put like a tiny drizzle of honey and a tiny drizzle of um, syrup because I don't have any sugar-free syrup at the moment. Um, I'll make it work. I'm also supposed to have 100 grams of blueberries, so I'll probably slip that in there somewhere. I wanted to cook the blueberries into it. Like what I could have done is these would have been super, super soft and just stuff the blueberries into it and create like a blueberry French toast. But I thought about it afterwards, but for next time. But day two, Houston, going to Offland again. Squeezing into Supra. Squeezing into our friend's Supra. It's a two car or two seater car, but we're gonna make it happen somehow. Holy fuck, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Good thing, good thing I'm coming off prep right now. If I was like 20 pounds heavier, there'd be no chance. Most definitely. I've been craving sushi for months, man. It's so, been a while. my coach said today that if I look a certain way that I don't know the way he wants me to look, but if he wants me to look a certain way after the workout, he said that I do get a cheat meal and I will be fucking running that shit up. Okay. What's uh, what's your number one role? What are you going See, for? What, dude, I just go, I just go spicy tuna roll. Okay, yeah. See, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's it so to... fucking good, and then I get 24 pieces of them because I get 1,500 calories. I feel like I want something fried, man. Yeah. I want some oh, kind bro, of fried There's tempura. all you can eat. You just, <laughs> there, bro, there's so much. We'll, we'll, we'll get in the video. I'm gonna manifest it. I'm gonna, we're gonna be there, okay? <laughs> so we'll talk a bit later in the video because I'll look at it. We'll, we'll sit right here in this exact position, but I'll be like showing you and type uh -huh. and t t talking about the menu and be like, okay, you gotta get this, this, and this okay. in, in like a couple hours. So we're gonna work out and then be there. Perfect. Sounds great. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's Yo! What is good, guys? Hi. My name is Stanyal. The Stanyal. This is my boy Alex right here. What's good? Insane. Absolutely insane. Freaking back and bicep workout. So I thought we were doing shoulders, but I love hitting back and bice. It's one of my favorites. So we're about to smack that shit right the fuck down. Yeah, like, I know. Oh yeah, no, they have a fuck ton for back. Oh, hell yeah. We were hitting back the other day here. We had a good ass back workout. There's a bunch of back workouts all right here. You like a, you more of a cable guy, or you more of a machine guy? It's gonna be honestly, I like machines for the most part, but like yeah. cables can be kind of fun. Yeah, see, <laughs> cables, machines you can stack up and just fucking just go ham. Like some of those right there, just load that shit up and just like that's when you just feel like you're fucked. You know what I mean? The last set, we're gonna do a massive fucking drop set. Alright, alright. Give me insane. Uh uh. Keep it nice and straight, chest up, elbows driven down into the side. Really squeeze that fucking lat. Come on. Well, I mean, maybe, maybe not that. Maybe not that in depth, but we could try it. I'm, I wanna go get some chalk. I could probably rack the whole thing if I wanted, but I'm not gonna. That's not gonna hit my lats how I want them to. 
very strong contraction. Keep like don't drive elbows high or anything. Keep elbows really tucked down and tight. Drive down into your side. Wrist should meet about your lower rib cage. You should be driving down into here. Chest up too. Right. Oh, that's a nice dab. That was perfect on film too. Solid dab. Maybe. Oh, oh God. Yeah, I got some. Um, I would say maybe like maybe one. I don't. I don't know. Could I go heavy? Could I go like heavy? And could you just see my form? Yeah. Okay. I'll just do that then. I'll go like heavy, and you could see my form. You think so? Yeah. Chest up. Drive elbows down harder. Keep that chest up. Don't lean forward too much. Yup, 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 yup. Don't lose tightness, yup. Really fucking squeeze. Ah. Uh -huh. And then drop set. Alright, yeah. Go to like 120. And crank this shit out. Let's go! Yup. Uh huh. Yup. Go, let's go! Yup! Oh, yeah, that was good. Fuck yeah, let's see it. Last set. Let's go. Yup. Really feel it. Slow it down. Yup. Let's go. Yup. Yup. Oh yeah. Go. One. Feel that shit. Let's go. Yup. Go one more. Let's go. Oh boy. Whoa. Fuck yeah. That was fucking. He grew hella during that set. High elbow path to really get as much of the trap mm -hmm. as you can. Oh, I fuck with that. It's like rear <laughs> delt too, low key. You'll get a bit of rear delt out of Hell it. Hell yeah. <sighs> That's bad. Okay, 
I didn't know if there was like a reason that you were doing it. The most you know? important thing is a slight lean back and drive elbows straight really? down. Okay. Okay. I'll try it. I fuck with it. <laughs> Great for lats, man. Okay, we're we're really in back. Oh wait, you guys have big legs. I forgot. Fuck. I have small legs. There we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Control that motherfucking shit. Oh wait, we gotta put this down. Alright. He's getting a bicep workout too. <laughs> That was insane. Oh, I've had, I, ha I did have a couple shots a like couple days ago. Uh, okay, it's out. <laughs> well, yeah, we just went out for, I think we got in a video, actually. We got, on the most recent video, my buddy hit, Eric hit it. Um, we did, we threw this like thing from my roommate and we went to this club and I was like, fuck. And so I did the, what, my coach was there and he was just like, he told me to do one shot, and I was like, yeah. I didn't do one shot. I did three, did three but yeah. I looked insane. Hey, I did three too, so you know, maybe that's the secret right if there. Anything, Shots will dry you out, guys. Exactly it won't harm you. I was about to say, it's gonna dry yeah. you out. All it'll do, realistic, no, not realistic, literally, yeah, realistic, it'll just dry you out. That's all it'll do. So we were gonna end up going to Sushi with Stanyo, but Nick and I got a little miscommunication on which sushi restaurant we were supposed to go to, and at the end of the day, it was like almost eight o'clock, or I think it was eight at that point. And we were just exhausted and kind of just wanted to kick it and chill. And um, so we just did that. But um, it is the next day. I'm probably gonna be go training with Ryan. That's gonna be in a different video, probably next. But um, I appreciate you guys watching and supporting. And remember to like, comment, subscribe if you're new. If you made it this far, you definitely should have subscribed by this point. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys. I'll catch you in the next one.